So, tell us, Brooks, what are you good at? <laughs> That's... Hang on, let me put a music bed behind that while you answer that. Did she, did she just ask me what I'm good she at? She did. She did. Well, besides, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. Well, my my hobby is pitching horseshoes. So pitching horseshoes. Uh huh. And it's I'm, not throwing horseshoes. It's pitching horseshoes. It's, it's, it's pitching horseshoes. Mostly throwing ringers. Okay. You know? So for somebody who's not from Texas. Uh huh. Why do people pitch horseshoes? Well, it's a lifetime sport. Right. It's competitive, and you get to meet a lot of nice people. Uh, we're not all redneck, beer-drinking, <laughs> you know, crazy. How long have you been pitching horseshoes? Since 1985. 85. I don't know how many years that is, but... It's a long time. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I started in 85. The Go Texan uh, got me started. You know, they give Go Texan scholarship mm -hmm, every year, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, they they had a horseshoe competition, and and mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> I found out that I had a you know a knack, knack for pitching for horseshoes, so that's when I started pitching horseshoes. All right, so let's talk about it. You're All pitching right. against another person or yep. a team, just another person. Mostly, I I, I do both, but uh, I mostly do singles. So that's but, you against one other person. Uh-huh. Yeah. And how long how far are you pitching? What's the distance well, between the, for for the open division or the men, it's forty feet from stake to stake. Okay. The stakes are one inch one inch diameter, diameter. Uh, okay. uh steel rod that's you know anchored. And uh <clears throat> um Is it like rebar? No, 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 it's a it's, it's a smooth in the smooth. competitive realm. It's an, everything is uniform, isn't it? Yes. And how far up does that spike come? The, up? It's 15 inches from 15 the inches. surface to the and top, it's and it's a, centered. And it, it's centered in a really in in a, in the uh, sanctioned courts. There's a three by four pit. Okay. And it's centered in a in the center of that three by four. Four foot long, three foot wide, right. and it's centered in the middle. It's 15 inches tall, and there's a lean of three inches from uh, forward. If you drop the ground. plumb bob from the so base, as to you're the, looking to the plumb at it, it's facing inches. towards you. Three yes. Inches. Yes. Okay. Why? Uh, well, it um, it keeps the shoe from bouncing off quite as bad, uh -huh. and it and it. Um, uh, keeps the stake from getting knocked, okay. knocked out of, okay. gotcha. out of, you know, knocked loose and so forth. Of course, they usually anchor the stake in a, either a cross tie or a five-gallon bucket of cement, at, gotcha. you know, under the ground. So they're, go they're not going to go far. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Anyway, and then they also have a, a division for elders and women and children, and they get to, they get to pitch from thirty feet. Okay. But uh, the men pitch from 40 feet. We're fixing to have our world championship. We have a world, uh, the National Horseshoe Pitcher Association has a world championship every year. This year it's uh, from July the 17th through July the 29th. A and lot it's, of days. it's, yeah, it's two weeks. And it's in St. George, Utah this year. They, they change it to a different place. But in 2019, it's going to be in Texas for the first time ever. Oh, really? At yeah. Wich Wichita Falls. Nice. Wichita Falls. Uh-huh. All right, so how many people are you competing against? In Texas or when I pay, play at the World? <laughs> well, let's start with Texas. Okay, well, there's uh, we, we have a little over 300 members in the Texas Horseshoe Pitcher Association. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the uh, state championship, which this year is going to be in Amarillo, in the state championship, uh, they 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 put you in classes, and they put eight people to a class. Okay. And you'll compete against those eight people. You play a round robin, and uh, whoever has the best win loss records, uh, the winner of that class, uh, if there's ties, they tie for first place. They play it off. Um, and in the uh, National Horseshoe Picture Association Championships, the World Championships, they have classes of 16. Okay. 
And then uh, after everybody's played for two weeks, they take the top 16 averages mm -hmm. for the two weeks and for make another playoff. championship class, which plays three days at, right there at the end. Wow. Yeah. How many games is that? Well, if, you, if you're a class of 16, you play 15 games. If you're a class of eight, you play uh, seven games. The, the two times that I've won the state championship, I've ended up both times being in a three-way tie for first and having to play two extra games. So it took me nine. I'm a little slower than some. It took me nine games to win a state championship <laughs> <laughs> both times. So those, it's all single elimination. No, it's not elimination. It's it, in the championships. It's a round robin. Uh huh. You play everybody, and you play everybody once. And okay, but when you're actually playing a game, though, okay, let's say you're starting. How many how many times are you pitching that horseshoe in a game? Okay, in your in your regular sanctioned uh, tournaments, you play forty shoe games. Okay. Where where each opponent, each person, you pitch, you know. Uh, 40, 40 shoes. Right. In the championships, uh, you play forty points. Okay. You know, you know, like in the backyard, backyard, right. you usually right. play twenty-one points. Right. But in the sanctioned championships, you play forty points. All right. So points would be, you throw it or you pitch it, and it hits the it hits the stake. Okay. A ringer is three points. Okay. And a close one and or a leaner is one point. Okay. And they play cancellation. So, for example, if I throw two ringers and my opponent throws one ringer. It cancels one of yours. It cancels one of mine. I only get three points. Gotcha. Okay. okay. And, and quite often you'll have four ringers and nobody scored anything. Right. Right. You know, so that's that's wow. not unusual. <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. Okay. So she's thinking. I am thinking. Um, what kind of horseshoes are you using? Well, I use a, I, I actually use a Alan Francis signature. Uh, Alan Francis is, I don't know, 18 or 22 time world champion. And the sad thing about that is he's younger than me. <laughs> And he, he wins world every year. He averages 92% ringers. So these aren't horse, horseshoes that you get off a horse? No, no. These are no. specific size. How much size. does the horseshoe weigh then for, yeah. for sanctioned games? Well, I think, the, I think the lightest is a 2.6 up to, a, I think, 2.11, 2.10 or 2.11. And you can choose your weight? Yes. Like a bowling ball. Like right. You, like, can, well, you, you, you can pick what you want to play with, yeah. Now, here's, here's the real signature question. All right. What's your style? <laughs> no, I think that's uh, no. Yeah, that's, no a, that's, that's a great question. question. Is it a flip or do, are I, you, I throw, uh, um, are I, you basically one that'll rest rest right there and 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 go uh, yeah. counterclockwise or clockwise? Yeah, you'll you'll find people that throw uh, you know beginners sometimes throw a you know the backward flip back or uh -huh. or a multi flip and yeah and uh, uh, I throw a one and a quarter. I, I hold it on the side uh -huh. and it at an angle a little bit. <clears throat> I hold it on the side and it and it uh, turns one and a quarter time to come in open every time. Gotcha. Uh, Alan Francis, world champion, throws a reverse three quarter where he holds it and it turns the other way. And so he does in. a hula hand kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know how he does it. Well, no, that's a Barry Clower does the, a hula the, hand. Uh, roping technique. To, oh, well, he does a hula hand. Oh, okay. Uh, backwards. And, and, well, see, uh, he turns it. You know, and, and brings it and up this way, it and that it, way, and it makes it go that way. And I just kind of do a natural. Uh, Ted Allen was one of the one of the great horseshoe pitchers of history before Allen, and he threw the one and a quarter, and that's the reason a lot of us throw. Right. And, and if you're right-handed, it's a little more natural it's, that way. So, yeah. so going counterclockwise is not I don't instinctively know. how I would normally want to do that. But yeah, I don't know how he does it. How huh. long? How long has horseshoe pitching horseshoes been? Do you know the history? Uh, well, I know a little bit. Um, you know, I don't have my, I don't, I don't have my computer in front of me, but. Well, they're pulling stuff up. 
It says oh, okay. horseshoe historians have not been able to discover when the game of quoits, Q U O I T S, or horseshoes was changed so that it was pitched at two stakes. But it's pretty well established that horseshoe pitching had its origin in the game of, I don't know how to pronounce, Q U O I T S. And that is a modification, the Grecian game. game. So, started uh, out, came up from discus oh, coitus, throwing. Coitus. Uh, I guess. I, I don't know. Uh, All right, know Steph, that, how do you pronounce that word? But um, you can always get some information by going. There's a, there's a website for Texas. Mm-hmm. It's uh, the Texas Ringer.net. The Texas Ringer.net. Okay. Or you can, uh, there's also a, a NHPA website. NHPA. Which is National, National Horseshoe, Horseshoe, Horseshoe Pictures. Pictures Association. And, and it's, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I've got a, I've got a link to it. And I can't remember. Yeah, the, pull that up so I can see the pronunciation guide. We're looking at how to pronounce that. Yeah. Oh, who's it's done, pronounced who's different. Done all that stuff? Over there on that table over ah, there. Yeah, and we've got people <laughs> twitching. I mean, we've got people who are. Oh, it's Coits. 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 Yes, Coits. Coits. Well, I know. Thank you, Steph. Looking forward to seeing a, you, girl. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't know the. I really don't know the history. Well, we've That's got two two links that we mentioned already that you can go to. Okay, cool. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I was looking at the screen. <laughs> it, it's a delayed reaction. It is uh-huh. delayed. It's a little and delayed. And it's backwards the way you move. Yeah, I know it's, it's different. I'm moving it's... to the right, but I'm moving left. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't look at that. They were saying you're holding your, your guitar like it was a leather one. Leather. Well, I'm keeping it. Otherwise, it falls down on yeah. Okay. Like, like holding the baby in the elevator. So, your next pitching event is when? Oh. Uh, Uh-oh. Here comes Rayleigh. <laughs> Rayleigh. <laughs> um, well, I, you know, I practice all the time, but my next uh, main event will be the World right. Horseshoe Coming Tournament. Over. And that's um, where this year? This year it's at St. Saint, Saint George. I don't know where St. George is. But Utah. Well, yeah, Utah. I'm going to fly into Utah's Vegas. Okay. And... Uh, yeah. and you gonna drive from Vegas? No, no, I'm gonna fly. I'm gonna fly into Vegas. Yep. And I got a rental car, and I'm, I'm spending the night at the Trump International. Uh huh. Just always want to stay there. <laughs> hey, when we leaving? <laughs> anyway, we leaving. And then, uh, and then I'll drive up to, Saint uh, to Utah. Excellent. It's about a, it's about a about a two hour drive to Utah. From oh, there. that's not bad. Not bad I can fly into I can fly into Vegas a little cheaper than I can. You know. And is this right. done outdoors or indoors? No, it's indoors. Okay. Air conditioned. They have uh, uh, <clears throat> at the World Tournament, and I have some indoor courts also. But you know, they they take the three by four bo- box, mm-hmm. and you have two inches of clay. Okay. And you know, just wherever your shoe stick uh, hits, it just sticks. Really? Oh. Yeah. There's not any sliding. Okay. No. Sliding. And, uh, no. Not at the not at the world tournament. Well, if you ring it, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, if you ring it, you don't have to worry about it. But yeah, you, you know, you, you like to hit the stake about that far above the clay. Okay. That way, it just you know kind of sucks down. Yep, and, and then yeah. stays. Yep. Uh, that's cool. what I do. That's, that's, that's the way I shoot them. That's why you shoot them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've never officially pitched a horseshoe in my I life. Used to, I used to and have, and I enjoy yeah. it. It's, it's a lot of but fun. But you said it's you a, have your own indoor court set up. Uh-huh. So we, we could go and do that. I've got, yeah. I'm actually, seems like I'm a better horseshoe pitcher at the beginning of the year. Really? Because I pitch all winter indoors. Oh, gotcha. And I don't have a lot of work to do on the farm. In, in the, the winter, winter time, uh, yeah. So and now this time of year, I have to pitching. really work at it to, to get my form back because... Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm having to work too hard. Uh, I think he, I should he, quit working so much. You should. Yeah. Yeah. Just pick up horseshoes. Yeah. How come I yelled at plays yesterday? Anyway, I'm, yeah, you this is fascinating I'm, stuff. Well, Any other um, questions, you guys? Fascinating Online? Stuff. You got any more questions? Exciting. For pretty Nobody exciting stuff. Cares. Okay. <laughs> what weight do you throw? I, I, two nine. Two nine. Two nine. Yeah. 
Uh, two seven is two point nine. Two six is the lightest I think yeah. you can use. Is it like two point nine pounds? Two. Yeah, two okay. two pounds nine ounces. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, you know when you when you go to the world tournament they they have a shoe check in. Just like you weigh for wrestling or, or, or boxing like, like or. You know, shot put Horse they jockey. They're going to you know, weigh you uh, before you throw. They make sure that your shoe has, you know, can't be any wider than. It has to have certain dimensions. That, you know, certain. Yeah. That you've put a spitball on it or something like that. <laughs> they, they weigh them and they measure them and make sure they fit within specifications. The specs. Wow, that's serious. Yep. You want to use regular horseshoes, you know, you know little horseshoes. Can't do it. Can't It'd do it. Be fine with me. <laughs> easier to I just it. I, I couldn't pitch them, but you know you get used to your shoes, and that's what you want to play. See, see my my uncle used to chew uh, Clydesdales. And he, I got some shoes. I mean, Big yay bigger shoes. round. You know? yeah. yeah. And I mean they, but he made them. You know, on forge and he beat them oh, around. He actually made them. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's a lot. Of, well, that's I, a lot of metal. I really appreciate y'all I'll having me. I'll give you me. one if you'd like to have one. Yeah, one. I'll get thank over here. You for, uh, thank you for thank you. I got I got something to take out. Fascinating stuff. Thank and you. good luck on the uh, my, my, world championship. My mom will use the old five deal. That's a trumpet. Good luck.